Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you all my animals in my personal collection, except for all the babies because I don't want to be handling them. Keep in mind that I'm an advocate of not handling your reptiles, however, I do handle my reptiles at least once a week just to make sure that they're fine. With Lichianus and Chihuahua, they can fight on any day, so I do visually inspect them every single day. However, manual and holding them and actually looking at them, I do weekly just to make sure that there's no scarring, there's no bite marks or anything like that. So today is actually inspection day, so let's take a look and let's jump right into it. So my collection only consists of New Caledonian geckos. I have a pair of yates, which uh, the male is a pure male yate, and the female is a yate times Mount Kogis uh, cross. This is my pure yate male. This guy was actually imported from the United States and is a hamper line. So it's from Robbie Hamper down in the United States. This is my female Mount Kogus Bayate. It's a cross. Um, she's currently 165 grams and is going to be the potential mate for my Puriate male. And um, it's all dependent on if they're compatible or not. She's a nice big girl. She's actually just over a year old, so she's going to be a big girl, but she should top out more or less um, around 400 grams as well, so double this size. And um, I also have a pure PI pair and a pure Nuami pair. This is a female Nuami. One of my proven breeders, she gets nice and lavender. She is so, so pretty. This is her mate. This is my pure F PI female. She's from Ernie Wagner lines. I purchased her from uh, Dos Gecos in uh, the United States. And this is my pure PI male. He is gorgeous. He came from Dos Gecos as well. And just look at all that pattern. He has a regenerated tail from previous breeding attempts, but who really cares when it looks that nice? For Chihuahua, I have um, a white collar female that's paired up with a nice neon green and red male. And um, I have another one, which is another pair, which is my Snow White, which is a female PI that actually fires up nice and bright white. And the male is my original, which is Winston. He's my original Chihuahua, which actually, if you watch my past video, um, he was actually the inspiration for me to make the Repti Ledge. This is one of my Pineal Chihuahua. She is pure and from Northern Gecko lines. And when she fires up, she fires up a nice white. This is Winston. He was my first Chihuahua. He's the mate to that white female, which I like to call Snow White. Here's my white collar. 
male or female. She is nice and healthy. This is the end of the breeding season. And she is looking nice and plump. My secret is I actually feed her pinkies quite often, once a month, as a treat specifically in breeding season. She actually won't even take them now because she's in cooling. This guy, when he fires up, he's a crazy lime green and red, and he's currently paired with my white collar female. Um, I have a lone female right now in this cage behind me. She actually is a unknown locale, but she is very high pattern. So I'm looking for a male for her. So if you know anybody, let me know. This is one of my unknown locale females. She's actually on loan from Dumango Geckos. She's full size, ready to breed. I'm just looking for a mate for her right now. Um, I still have Beauty. That's what I ended up naming her um, because she's beautiful to me, so I can name her anything else. Now here is Beauty. I decided to name her Beauty because that's what she is to me. And just beautiful. And um, you guys remember her from my last video. I rescued this girl off of Kijiji and she has severe metabolic bone disease. And as you can tell with the tail and everything, it's actually getting a little bit better. She was dehydrated when I got her, so she has been having some shedding issues. But slowly, slowly, she is filling back up and getting a little bit better. She's not there yet, though. Look at that tail. I also have this nice dark mainland male. Um, I have had him in my collection for some time now. I've decided to keep him as a pet. Um, originally when I was looking at Kijiji and I found Beauty, I was looking for a mate for him, but I've decided now that it's probably best just to keep him alone and keep him as a pet. Um, I do have my original Crested Gecko who's 13 to 14 years old. This is OG. I call her Blaze. Blaze is actually my very, very first reptile. She is 13 going on 14 years old. Um, actually, she's been in my care for 13 to 14 years and uh, she was around six to seven months old when I purchased her. So I would say she's closer to 15 years old uh, than anything. She's a beauty, she's nice and calm. She lost her tail a while ago while breeding. I actually tracked her lineage back and uh, found out that she's actually um, an F2. So she is very close to being um, rare. Um, and finally, I have Sarge, which is um, my favorite Crested Gecko, has been one of my favorite Crested Geckos uh, for the last five, six years. Uh, he is the chillest. Um, anytime somebody comes over, I'm not really one to hold animals or hold uh, geckos in general or reptiles in general. However, if a child comes over and I want to instill that love for reptiles, he's the one to do it. He's very chill. He'll just sit on your hand. He's not the type to just jump and lose it, which could actually deter them from liking reptiles. So he's the one I bring out for those types of instances. My favorite male crested gecko this is Sarge. He is actually um, one of two crested geckos I actually have left. I don't breed them anymore. Um, these two are just pets. They're separated and um, I kept him along because he's actually the friendliest. As you know, I don't like to handle my reptiles. Um, only once a month, but if somebody does come over um, and you know, there's a child and I can instill a little bit of love for reptiles um, I will do that and he's the one to do it with. He's actually very chill always has been always will be and uh, Yeah, that's that's Sarge
I also have all my garage which I produced this year. So I have um, a bunch of Crested Geckos, I have um, a, about a dozen Chihuahua, I have another half dozen to a dozen, actually no, I have I have another dozen Lichianus, however I'm not going to show all the babies, I don't like handling babies, I like leaving them alone. Uh, they feel a lot more secure than they eat and then I don't have to worry about them growing uh, so that I can then sell them off. This is one of the guys that I'm growing up, this is a GTB from the Wayne Nimmer lines. Just look at all that pattern currently only 11 grams and look at it that is going to be one crazy animal I have a male PI Lichianus from Philippe de Vajoli here's another one I'm growing up it's a male from Philippe de Vajoli I also decided to get into gargs, so I got myself some nice red striped gargs uh, in a trade for some of my baby Chihuahua. So there you have it, my personal collection. My business partner also has some reptiles himself, which includes some other pairs of Lichianus that we own together. However, at my home, this is all that's here. So I hope you liked it. I know that a lot of you thought I had a lot more, um, but I do have over, well, including babies, approximately 50 geckos in this room. And I wanted to make sure that this stays manageable and I'm not breeding too much where then I cannot sell the babies. And not only that is, I don't want to take away from my own family time or take away from taking care of these animals properly. I want to be sure that no matter what, I'm providing them with the best care possible. So right now, I'm at a very comfortable level and I don't think I'm going to be expanding anytime soon. So I hope you liked it. So if you're new to this channel, you're going to be asking where I got these cages. These cages are actually designed by us at Reptile Edge and are available on our website www.reptileedge.com. You can also find merch on our store, uh, which includes hats, t-shirts, we're going to have lanyards soon, and we also have stickers. So be sure to follow the link in the description for that. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, drop a like down below and comment if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe for future content. Thanks.